The person we are looking at today lived in country New South Wales and her family could not afford to buy her a tennis racket. At the age of nine, her first tennis racket was a fence paling. A family friend gave her an old racket without a grip, but she went on to win not six, but 62 women's tennis Grand Slam titles in the 1960s and 70s. Her name is Margaret Court. She is the greatest woman tennis player of all time. Margaret Court was born in 1942. She was raised as a Roman Catholic Christian in Albury in the state of New South Wales. Even at a young age, she was sporty and played cricket and football with the boys living in her street. She was the leader of the group. She had the good fortune to live opposite 24 grass tennis courts and soon was playing there. She had a good coach and she showed potential. When she was 13, a visiting tennis pro told her she could become the first Australian woman to win Wimbledon, and Margaret set that as a goal for herself. Her coach told her at age 15 that she needed to go to Sydney or Melbourne to get the best training and competition. She went to Melbourne and Frank Sedgman guided her development. He put her onto gym and weights training four mornings every week. In 1960, at age 17, she won the Australian Open for the first of many times. She was not even seeded in that first Australian Open competition. After winning the US Open and French Open in 1962, she won Wimbledon, her goal, in 1963 and later in 1965. She retired temporarily in 1966 and moved to Perth, where she married Barry Court. Her father-in-law, Sir Charles Court, and brother-in-law, Richard Court, later became Liberal Premiers of Western Australia. She returned to tennis in 1968 and won all four Grand Slam titles in 1970. The next year she lost the Wimbledon singles final to Yvonne Goulagon Corley while pregnant with her first child Daniel, who was born in March 1972. It was in the early 1970s that she had a spiritual awakening experience. Her tennis colleagues used to ask her what had changed in her life. She replied that she had given her heart to Jesus. She retired permanently in 1977 when she learned that she was expecting the last of her four children. She had achieved all her goals. The years 1979 to 1983 were not easy for the courts. Margaret had heart trouble, depression and insomnia. She was told she just had to live with the heart problem. Husband Barry had stomach ulcers. Husband Barry was healed from his ulcers by God through a Christian with a healing ministry. Margaret started studying for Christian ministry and she too experienced physical healing for her heart problem. In 1991 she was ordained and started ministry. In 1996 she started the Victory Life Centre in Perth. Her ministry has thrived with countless people being helped. Her church currently distributes tons of food each month to the needy. She started an international Bible training centre with students coming from overseas countries. She supports mission endeavour in 13 other countries. Her church has drop-in centres to support families. It has marriage support programs, children programs, help for victims of abuse, help for people with addictions, and help for orphanages overseas. As the senior pastor, she says she loves what she is doing and leads a great team. Margaret Court says, if you bless your community, God will bless you. She also says that the secret of her success is to love people and help them to overcome their problems. Margaret still plays a little tennis each week. She and her husband have been married 45 years. She helped coach the Sri Lankan Davis Cup team in tennis in 2005. Margaret has won numerous awards including Officer of the Order of Australia in 2007 and the ABC Sportsman of the Year Award in 1963 and 1970. She was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1979 and the Australian Tennis Hall of Fame in 1993. One of the arenas in the Melbourne Tennis Centre was named in her honour. We salute Margaret Court, a Christian woman who has made a positive difference both on and off the tennis court. <laughs>